What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Overwatch video. Now Overwatch and what we played from the beta was truly amazing. And if you guys want it, I will post Overwatch upon release on May 24th here on my channel. I really enjoyed the beta and believe content from the game will be something I'd really enjoy covering. So if you guys want more Overwatch, do smash that like button. Also, if you are new here to this channel and Overwatch is what you want to see, do hit that subscribe button as I've got you covered. Now until the release of Overwatch I have a few videos planned. These videos will consist of gameplays with certain characters which I will give you guys my review and opinion on them, giving you guys also a little information into the characters themselves as well. And we'll start off the series with Zen Yata. But before we go through this character's backstory we need to first understand the plot behind the Overwatch universe. So Overwatch is set in the near future Earth. Years after the resolution of the global scale Omnic Crisis, the crisis put humanity under threat of the Omnic Artificial Intelligence. This led to the uprising of robots all around the world and a massive conflict on a global scale. To end this conflict, an international task force called Overwatch was formed by the United Nations to protect humanity, ending the crisis. In the years after, Overwatch remained as a peacekeeping force, but after multiple incidents of criminal activity popped up around the globe, accusations of corruption and sedition began to surface. The people turned against those who saved them. Once regarded as heroes, members of Overwatch were then looked down upon with suspicion. Then one day the headquarters of Overwatch was suddenly destroyed, apparently by accident. Officially, the attack took the life of Overwatch leader Jack Morrison and second in command Gabriel Reyes. After this event, the task force was eventually disbanded. It is believed by some that the cause of the downfall of Overwatch was due to actually an deliberate conspiracy by those who wanted to see an end to the organisation, although nothing has been confirmed by the UN. And that is basically the plot behind Overwatch. So what or who is Zenyatta? Well Zenyatta is an omnic monk who wanders the world in search of spiritual enlightenment. It is said that those who cross his path are never the same again. Years ago, following the Omnic Crisis, a group of outcast Omnic robots experienced what they described as a spiritual awakening. They abandoned their pre-programmed lives to establish a humanal monastery deep in the Himalayas. After many years of meditation on the nature of existence, they came to believe that they were more than artificial intelligence and that like humans, they possessed the essence of a soul. Recognising the spiritual equality they held with humans, the monks, led by the enigmatic robot known as Tekhartha Mandata, sought to heal the wounds caused by the Omnic Crisis a generation earlier and bring humans and robots back into societal harmony. Their message was embraced by millions around the world and they became global celebrities. But one monk, Zenyatta, disagreed with the new direction. He believed that the way to repair the problems between humans and omnics was not through dogmatic teaching but through interpersonal connection and engagement. Ultimately, Zenyatta followed his own path. He chose to leave the monastery and wander the world, helping those he meets to overcome their personal struggles and find inner peace. But when necessary, he will fight to protect the innocent, be they omnic or human. So that's what we know about the backstory of Zenyatta. But what's he like to play with in game? Well in the game each character has a difficulty rating. 1 stars up to 3 stars, 3 stars being the most difficult. Zenyatta has a rated 3 stars, so he's classed as difficult to use. Now when I first got into this game, I did try out many characters, kind of switching between them within every life. And I clearly remember selecting this dude and not having a clue what I was doing. I died and didn't use him again, it was as simple as that. Well not until I learned more about him and when I did I got to understand his style of play and the one required to be successful with him. I started using him and actually started to really really enjoy him and do well. Now he is a support character if you did not know and in my opinion he is the best of the bunch. So what abilities does he have? Okay so first up we have the orb of destruction. Zenyati projects his destructive energy orbs either individually or in a rapid fire volley after a few seconds of gathering power. So with the right trigger he shoots one orb and with the left trigger he charges up to five orbs to fire in a volley. The left bumper's ability is called Orb of Harmony which heals 30 HP per second. Basically when near your teammates you cast an orb which slowly restores their health as long as you stay alive though. 
Only one orb can be cast at a time. The right bumper's ability is called Orb of Discard. Here you attach orbs to your enemy, which amplifies all damage they receive by 50%, but only one opponent can suffer at a single time. Zenyati's ultimate ability is called Transcendence. Once activated by pressing Y, Zenyati enters a state of heightened existence for a short time only though. While Transcendent, Zenyati cannot use other abilities or weapons but is immune to all incoming damage and automatically restores his health and that of nearby allies. It heals 100 HP per second to both yourself and nearby allies. So they are basically the abilities Zenyati possesses. For me, after playing almost 20 hours on the beta, Zenyeti was truly one of my most favourite characters and he was definitely probably the highlight of the beta for me. Overwatch truly does have a character for every single playstyle and even more, mixing things up unlike anything I've played or experienced in any other game. It's a game I cannot wait for, but how about you? Are you excited for Overwatch? Let me know down below in that comment section. After the gameplay is done in the background, I will showcase all of Zenyeti's costumes, so enjoy that also. Now me personally, I am the type of player who enjoys the most part of sitting back, most of the time picking enemies off from a distance, hence why I do love sniping in any game. I feel the same kind of playstyle is required to be used with Zenyeti. Sticking by other teammates, being ready to back off while healing teammates and dropping them orbs on enemies, helping your teams get them kills. Zenyeti ain't in my opinion the type of character you'll see get the most kills in their game, but would damn sure make up for it via assists and healing. Zanyeti was easily one of my favourite characters from the beta and I cannot wait to get a hands on with the full game's release. But guys that is the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it and want to see more do hit that like button, your support truly does help out. Hope you guys did enjoy the video, thanks for stopping by as always and I will catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time, PEACE!